Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and in today's video, obviously according to the title, I'm going to be sharing how I do my nails. Um, this is from scratch, like all the way through. It's really, really easy. So I'm hoping that this video won't be too long, but if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. All the products that I'm using in this video are from Amazon. You can find them in the description box down below. Make sure to put a list and a link to everything that you guys see. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So first things first, you're going to want to clean your nails, cut, trim the nails and the cuticles if needed. And then we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the first product, which is going to be this kit by Beatles. It's one of my favorite brands on Amazon right now. And this bag here in particular is filled with the nail tips. There are coffin style nails starting from size one, which is going to be the largest for your thumb. And they've got 10 different sizes, so it's, which is awesome because um, you're gonna have better chances of them fitting your um, actual nail. This one here is the nail glue. This is actually from a separate kit and it comes with a two pack of the full size nail glue, but you're gonna get a smaller bottle of this particular product, which you're going to need to adhere the nails to your natural nails. And then you're also gonna get this LED lamp, which has the perfect space underneath the hood so that you can hold on to the actual nail products. And you'll see in just a moment what I'm talking about. You need this extra space because you're going to have to hold it yourself while it cures. So step one is going to be picking out the correct size. And this is really easy for me because I am familiar with my nail sizes, but for you, you're probably gonna have to go through maybe two or three sizes to make sure that it's completely covering your nail bed. I'm also going to go in with this dehydrator. This is a product that is extra. You don't have to get it, but I honestly feel like it just makes it last a lot longer. So you're going to add a little bit of that to the base of the false nail or tip as well. And um, next you're going to go ahead and grab your nail glue. The nail glue looks similar to their base coat and top coat that I featured on my live streams. So make sure it says nail glue because I accidentally <laughs> messed up and used a top coat before and all of my nails popped off. So make sure it says nail glue. So you're gonna add just a bit to your natural nails as I'm doing here. It looks just like a clear coat, just a little bit thicker. Then you're going to add a bead of that, just like a small little pearl size um, amount of the glue just to the base of your fake nail or false tip, whatever you wanna call these things, um, as you see that I'm doing here. So just a little bit, okay? Um, then you're going to start at the cuticle line, uh, making sure that your light is on and prepared. I am gonna start at the cuticle and hold it down and press forward. Okay, so this is really important because you don't want any of the excess glue to come out because wherever it cures, it's gonna harden and it's going to be, you know, a task to take it off. So make sure you get all the bubbles out. I'm off screen because I'm, I'm holding it so close to my face to make sure that there's no bubbles. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna hold on to that right underneath the hood. And as you can see, it's a perfect amount of space because if this was a full five fingered hooded lamp, you wouldn't be able to do the pinching technique. Next up, you're gonna wanna trim your nails and you can use whatever you have on hand, but I definitely recommend these nail clippers because they are designed for this particular process. They are curved so that they won't damage your tips. And as you can see, they're super sharp but without you know, any chance of you hurting yourself. Um, they are very different from animal claw cutters, so make sure you guys are aware of that. Then you're going to shape and um, buff them out. I'm gonna be using this color from Gelish. Again, all the products that I'm using will be in the description box down below listed in order of appearance and um, recommendations in there as well if I can find any, but I really, really love this milky pink. I'm at the end of my bottle and that's why I'm holding it the way that I, I am. I'm not worried it's gonna spill out because I'm literally just like digging at the bottom of this jar because it's amazing. It is a little bit pricey, but I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. Um, next, I'm going to take a little bit of acetone. Make sure it's 100% acetone, not just nail remover, nail polish remover, because it's not strong enough. 
It's just so much faster, especially if you're using colors like red or black or blue that really need a lot of attention. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush that I found off of Amazon as well. And I believe it was only like a dollar or two, so really inexpensive. And yeah, so you clean it up. This makes it a huge difference because if you've ever painted your own nails and you didn't do this, it looks really messy. So you're gonna pop it under a light, and this one in particular is from Le Macaroon, I think that's what it's called. It's kind of dirty, sorry. I know I should probably clean this up because of how close we are, but um, I love this versus the hooded lamps because this process you need to do one nail at a time. Do not go any further than that because it's just, it's just, I don't recommend it. Just one nail at a time, you have to be patient and wait for the light to turn off before you pull your nail out. But the next step is going to be some nail art, of course. You can skip this if you don't want it, but I absolutely love these stickers right now. You get the whole pack under $10 and you've got different colors and different um, styles of stars as well. But I'm gonna go with white because I just think that they look so pretty on this pink base. Now you have to be careful when you're removing them. So I. I honestly recommend using like tweezers or something um, and then gently place them on your nail and then rub them down pretty good. And then you're going to seal them in with a top coat. This is also from Beatles, which is my favorite brand again of nail products on Amazon. This one in particular um, is probably like my third or fourth bottle because that's how obsessed I am with this. This is a gel base or no, this is a gel polish I should say. So you are going to need it to cure it in the light, but you don't need to use gel polishes if you don't have them. You can definitely use regular polishes. You just need to allow them to dry a lot um, like longer. And moving on to the rest of my nails, I'm gonna quickly go over the steps one more time. Dehydrate your natural nail, dehydrate your false nail, then add the glue to your natural nail to the false nail, and then starting at the cuticle, pressing forward, curing it underneath the light. Should look something like this. Cut down, you're going to buff and shape, but you're gonna make sure that you compare the two nails to each other to ensure that you have the same length. Then you're gonna follow that with color. You're gonna clean it up, cure it into the light, and you can leave it like this, or you can add your nail art design, which I am, of course. I'm adding these little stars. Press down firmly, and then you're gonna to wanna to top off with a clear coat. Then, of course, you're going to cure these under the light and repeat the process to each and every single one of your nails. Then I'm gonna finish off the complete manicure with some cuticle oil. Now, of course, this is optional, but this is what they do at the salon, so I thought, why not? It was really inexpensive, and I have some like floating little flowers in the bottle as well, so I absolutely love this manicure, and I hope you try it. And that's it for this tutorial. If you guys would like to purchase the kit, the polishes, any of the tools that I used, all the links will be down in the description box below. Um, I always have a fun time doing my nails here at home because first of all, if they get jacked up, I mean, it's my fault. <laughs> and if they look good, I'm like, hey, that was all me. Hopefully you guys will try this out and let me know over on Instagram. Um, but until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.